Good morning everyone, here we have it, Volkswagen ID bus. I'm doing the range test that I should have done in Copenhagen when I was invited to the ID bus media drive in August, end of August. I didn't do it because I'm an idiot. <laughs> and so now I'm doing it today. And I asked you back then at which speed would you want to see a range test in the ID bus and most of you voted for 110 kilometers an hour so I'm gonna do that charging here at Ionity to 100% I arrived here with 92 and important thanks to AVP Autolon Plattling for lending me this car for two days they're awesome you should really check them out they're an awesome dealer they're not just selling you an electric car and then maybe a charger no they do the whole thing so they plan your installation at home if you want solar you get they plan solar they're working together with companies electricians and everything so you get the full package they're really awesome they're really pushing uh, electric vehicles and they not just have Volkswagen they have all the Volkswagen brands so Porsche uh, Cupra Seat Skoda Audi I think that's it <laughs> Um, but awesome that they lent me this car for two days and uh, like I said, finally range test. Let's look at the charging speed, it looks cold. Yeah, charging with 21 kilowatt, battery is cold. I preheated the car at home, um, charged overnight to 100% and then drove here but not with a lot of power and a bit of downhill too. So yes, battery is cold, hope it gets warm because I want to do a little charging test afterwards as well. On my way I'm driving 113 kilometers an hour on the speedometer because that's 110 kilometers GPS speed and I want to be accurate here I'm not comparing this car to something else because I never did a range test <laughs> at 110 but it's understandable that with a bus with when you go to holidays or whatever uh, uh, you might not drive 130 um, started at 100 percent started at 9.01 I'm in eco mode and I have my heat setting to auto this time look at me and seated on two but 22 and a half degrees I'm 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 a cold one you know that well let's drive a bit I mean the new display in since software 3.1 is of course amazing that you have everything in your instrument cluster, state of charge, and your trip. That's just awesome, and I can't wait to get that in my ID3. at 75% and drove 75 kilometers that's easy <laughs> that's 300 kilometers of range if it would stay the same way and uh, average consumption is 270 watt hours per kilometer average speed 105 I hope I can get this up to 107 um, because that's always a three kilometers an hour less than my target speed is always the normal thing yeah yeah beeping because self-steering is on. Uh, drive so far is amazing, even though it's very busy. I can always pass. I, I had to slow down a few times, but not dramatically. And a lot of trucks on this highway, which is unusual.
go. 50% drove 149 kilometers, so range would be 298 kilometers full. But I was just in a construction zone with 80. That's why I'm driving 120 now. I want to get the average speed up at least to 106 kilometers an hour. It was 107 before the construction and I had to go in one direction. Then I turned around because I was at 56% and I had to go through the whole thing again. And it mostly it was under 80 kilometers an hour even. So yeah, I have to speed up um, because then it's not a good test. And I didn't speed up to 140 or something, where it's where the consumption then is is totally wrong. But I think 120, and now I drive it till it's 106, and then I slow back down to the 113. Navigation tells me I have 117 kilometers to go. I have 168 kilometers of range, so it shouldn't be a problem at all. So how is the Volkswagen ID bus on the highway on a long distance trip? Well, steering is amazing. I have self-steering on. It's really great. It's not in the way. I have the auto lane change off because it does it for me too late. And then it's, it's I get a message and everything. Eh, not, a, not a fan of this. It's too safe. <laughs> um, but the self-steering is amazing. Um, it's not in the way. It doesn't uh, work against me or something. I like it. And it's awesome that I can turn off travel assist on the steering wheel, off and on back again. It's just nice that maybe when you're in a construction zone you want to turn it off to be more safe. Suspension is amazing. It really feels very comfortable to drive. You feel uh, uh, bumps. It's a bit more jumpy than other ID cars. It's a bit softer suspension, but still amazing. Uh, noise level in here at 110 is okay, but way louder than other ID cars. At 130, it's then really loud, and it's because it's so much uh, surface, so much window, and you notice that. So it is louder in here than it is in other cars. Uh, consumption is high, of course. It's a big brick going against the, the, the air. But overall, as a long distance car, it's recommended. It feels nice. It's relaxing. Uh, you have a very nice view overall when you see here. It's so much window. You can see everything. Uh, very nice to drive. There we have it, 25%, drove 217 kilometers, consumption is 263 watt hours per kilometer and average speed 107, I slow back down to the 113, I have, uh, I don't even know, 40, no, yeah, something 44 kilometers to go and I have 74 kilometers of range, so I have around 30 kilometers of margin, should be fine. Navigation now says I arrive with 10%, but I also drove 120 for, I don't know, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, to, to compensate for the slow drive before. I arrived with 11%, 261 kilometers, um, average consumption 258, 106 kilometers per hour was the average speed. Google Maps tells me it's 262 kilometers. Then we calculate 262 kilometers, we used 89%, that means full range 294 kilometers. That was a great test. Uh, um, I could drive the 110 almost all the time. Of course, I had to pass and everything and slow down a bit, speed up a bit. That's how it is on a highway. That's normal. 
Uh, it's very rare that I can drive a constant speed all the time. It happens though. <laughs> but um, around 300 kilometers, that's what, what I was uh, expecting. Um, I think it's almost what my ID3 will get with the small battery. So I think that's okay and it looks just beautiful, stunning, yeah. So thanks again to AVP Autolon in Platling for lending me this car. This is awesome. We're charging now and then bring it back. Don't forget to support the channel. There's channel membership here on YouTube. We have Patreon, we have PayPal and uh, PayPal and uh, YouTube channel memberships. They always get perks. They get ex early access to videos. And if I know something interesting, I tell them first. They're awesome. But that's it for me. Thank you much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.